Good morning students. Welcome to the online classroom of Max. Today we are going to deal with exercise 9.1, the questions from 10 and 12. Here the chapter is some applications of trigonometry. As we discussed on Monday, we are taking the values of table 8.1 to solve many problems in this chapter. So let us revise what is angle of elevation and angle of depression. These are the two important topics which you have learnt in this chapter. Angles of elevation and depression. Here this figure shows the angle of elevation. The only thing that you should notice is that the theta lies between the straight line and the line of sight. Similarly, the angle of depression lies between the horizon or the straight line and the line of sight. Please don't make any mistakes in calculating angle of depression. Angle of elevation is easy but you make mistake while calculating the angle of depression or indicating marking angle of depression. So make sure that which is angle of elevation and angle of depression. Tenth question. Two poles of equal heights are standing opposite each other on either side of the road which is 80 meter wide. From a point between them on the road, the angles of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. This is the figure concerning the 10th question. Here you can see two poles that is the first pole is AB and the second pole is CD. They are standing opposite each other on either side of the road. So which is the road? BD is the road and the length of BD is given as 80 meter. From a point between them, here the point is indicated as O. Angle of elevation. So to see the top of AB that is A, the angle of elevation is 60 degree and to see the top of the pole CD that is C, the angle of elevation is 30 degree. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. Okay, so you need which you need to find AB and CD and the distance of point from the poles that is BO and DO. So you can see two angles 60 degree and 30 degree. So you will be using trigonometric ratios with the specified values 60 degree and 30 degree. Let us see what is the method. Let AB and CD be the poles of equal height. O is the point between them from where the height of elevation taken. BD is the distance between the poles. As per above figure, AB is equal to CD. Why AB is equal to CD? It is given in your question. AB is equal to CD. Okay. Then OB plus OD is equal to 80 meter. That is also given in your question. 80 meter wide road. Now you are considering triangle CDO. Triangle CDO. Tan 30 degree. What is tan 30 degree? Tan 30 or tan theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse that is CD by sorry it is not opposite side by hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side so it is 
CD by OD. CD by OD. Clear? Now, what is tan 30 degree? Tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3. So, you can take CD is equal to OD by root 3. CD is equal to OD by root 3. Next, consider triangle ABO. ABO. This is the triangle. Here tan 60 degree. Opposite side by adjacent side. Tan 60 degree is AB by OB. AB by OB. Now what is the value of tan 60 degree? The value of tan 60 degree is root 3. So root 3 is equal to AB by OB. AB by OB. Students, if I take BD as 80 meter, I can take BOS as 80 meter minus OD. Here, this total length is 80 meter and I am considering BO, this much part. BO as 80 minus OD. That is what we have taken here. OB is equal to 80 minus OD. Cross multiplying, you will get AB is equal to root 3 8 into 80 minus OD. Root 3 into 80 minus OD. Okay. AB is equal to CD is given in your question. AB is equal to CD is given in your question. So, equating 1 and 2. Here, this is the first equation and this is the second equation. Okay. So, you will get root 3 into 80 minus OD is equal to OD by root 3. Now, solving the equation, you will get OD is equal to 60 meter. OD is equal to 60 meter. Students, listen here. OD is 60 meter. So, what will be OB? Total is 80. This much is 60. So, what is this length? It will be 20. Okay. Next. So, you got OD as OD as 60 and OB as 20. Height of the poles, you can calculate it with CD is equal to OD by root 3. 60 by root 3 and AB is also 60 by root 3. Next question. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal. From a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From another point, 20 meter away from this point on the line, joining this point of the foot of the tower, the angle of the elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. Students, this is the TV tower and first you are going to see this tower from a point C and the angle of elevation is given as 60 degree. Then from point C you are moving 20 meter far and you are reaching the point D. From there if you are seeing the top of the TV tower the angle of elevation is 30 degree. So, such questions are important in this chapter. Now, you can see two right angled triangles. Both are right angled at B. Both are right angled at B. What happens? Here, the first triangle is ABC and the second triangle is ABD. Clear? Now, then in the first triangle ABD, 
tan 30 degree. What is tan 30 degree? Tan 30 degree is AB by BD. Tan 30 degree is AB by BD. BD I can write it as BC plus CD. BD I can write it as BC plus CD. Okay. Now, what is the value of tan 30 degree? 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 is equal to h by 20 plus x. What is 20 plus x? h is the height of the tower. That is ab is taken as h. And what is x? The width of the canal is taken as x that is bc is taken as x here okay cross multiplying we will get 20 plus x is equal to h root 3 cross multiplying we will get it as 20 plus x is equal to h root 3 okay so x is equal to h root 3 minus 20. H root 3 minus 20. How did you get it? I transposed. I transposed. So, in right triangle ABC tan 60 degree. So, the first equation is X is equal to H root 3 minus 20. Now, it is the second equation. ABC. We are considering the triangle ABC. So tan 60 degree is equal to AB by BC. AB by BC. What is AB? It is H and BC is X. What is the value of tan 60 degree? It is root 3. So we will get it as X is equal to H by root 3. X is equal to H by root root 3. You can see the first equation is also x is equal to. Second is equation is also x is equal to. So equating 1 and 2. Equating 1 and 2. We will get the height of the tower as 10 root 3. We will get the height of the tower as 10 root 3. Now what is the relation between height and x? Here x is equal to h by root 3. So what will be the value of x? 10 root 3 by root 3. That is x is equal to 10. So height of the tower is equal to 10 root 3. And width of the canal is equal to 10. Is that clear to you? This is the last answer. So, by this, we come to an end of this video. We will discuss the next two questions in the next video. Thank you.